back to my channel so today i'm just gonna do a short video on how i plan my outfits mainly specifically for like trips or weekend getaways or like even if i know i'm just hanging out with my friends and doing like an activity for the weekend like a beach party or like a party in general or something because i don't really plan my outfits day to day because i work at a doctor's office so I literally just wear scrubs throughout the week and then I go to the gym after I already pick out my gym clothes beforehand but it's like I just pick whichever gym clothes that are first <laughs> to come out of my drawer so I don't really plan my outfits day to day but when it comes to other things I do so I'm going to show you guys how I plan my outfits um I use an app called Canva but I'm gonna get into that I'm gonna give like three little tips before that and then I'm going to show you guys like actually how I do it on the app. But I just want this video to be helpful to the girlies who need help planning out their outfits or finding you inspiration for their outfits or like different ways to style things. Especially for the seasons changing, like for spring, you know, because I'm a spring baby, I like to try to wear more pastel colors or like, um... More like blues and lavenders and light pinks and stuff but like for the summer i'm gonna try to start wearing like more reds and oranges and that type of thing yellow that type of thing which is kind of outside of my comfort zone a little but i want to get into like wearing more different colors and like experimenting with that and my first tip that i'm gonna give like in just style um planning out outfits in general is going to be using pinterest for inspo I don't know about you guys, but I have like literally Pinterest boards on top of boards, whether it be for like just the seasons, like um, summer inspo, fall inspo, winter inspo, spring inspo, or like how like I would imagine my wardrobe to be once I'm like, you know, in my, you know, full fledged bougie, like preppy outfit inspo. I have a board for that, like just a whole bunch of different things. So I think just using pinterest to find like outfit inspiration for what whatever like even if it's a trip that you're going to what you think the vibe is going to be like for that trip like different outfits that you would like to wear and that you could probably find online or even if you have those things in your closet as well like i think using pinterest is a good start to like get an idea instead of just starting from scratch like you can use pinterest and get like a visual idea on your phone or a laptop whatever you're using to look at pinterest to see like okay these are the vibes that i want for the outfits that i'm gonna plan for this trip or this event or whatever so you already have an idea of what you're looking at so another tip that i have is making an itinerary i don't know about y'all but i plan to the t for every single trip like even my birthday trip even though it was just a staycation that's a couple hour drive i planned out every single thing that we're doing that day and even if things didn't go as accordingly as i wanted them to i still made sure that um everything was planned and like which time slots they were planned and of course not everything's gonna go as perfectly as i wish it would but like just having an idea like a general idea of like what you're gonna do throughout that trip is also gonna help you plan outfits like for example i'm just gonna use my birthday trip as an example just because it's the most recent it's like for top golf i wanted to wear something that's a little more casual and a little more um you know sneakers and like a little more comfortable because we're doing an activity where we're golfing we're doing mini golf i wouldn't wear what i'm wearing to the club there you know what i'm saying like you want to have outfits for whatever events are on your itinerary that will match the vibes for that and planning your outfits around the itinerary instead of just what you think um the trip's gonna be like no what what are you actually gonna do in our trip you know that's why i personally like knowing what i'm gonna do when i get there so i can have an idea on what i want the outfits to be for now i don't know about everyone else but i am tired i'm sick and tired of like buying too many clothes and then not wearing them at all it kind of upsets me like um i can think back to when i had i had planned like this whole thing for my 20th birthday which was the same year that covid hit and covid hit and lockdown happened so i couldn't wear any of my clothes for my birthday i had to go back home and stay home instead because lockdown you can't really go anywhere but it's like all those clothes some of them i still haven't worn to this day i've like sold to like plato's closet or on my mercari closet which y'all should check out and you know it's like all that money that i spent for what you know so i that's also why i think it's smart to plan out your outfits um and what i'm gonna say 
as my next tip because I haven't even really said it yet is to shop your closet shop whatever clothes you have in your closet I don't know about you my my closet literally looks like a mini store my mom says that to me all the time it looks like a mini store so shop your closet and see what items you haven't worn in a while even any basics that you have that you could dress up or like um just clothes that you have it worn that long but could go well like could go well with a fit that you have in mind or a fit that you found on pinterest that kind of looks similar to it shop your closet first and then try to put those outfits together but if you must buy something try to buy something that will complement what you already have instead of buying a whole new piece and then not having anything to complement it because you didn't look through your closet so shop your closet first and make sure to piece the vibes together with what you um your itinerary is for that trip and then if you have to go shopping buy something that's going to complement what you already have in your closet because that will help you so much more and it will be so much better than over buying and overspending which honestly i've been getting better at now because now i just start returning stuff i mean i've been a returning queen i've been returning everything that i don't need or don't like anymore because i used to be scared of returning stuff which i don't know why should get my money back <laughs> but yeah um definitely shop your closet first and then if you have to shop shop whatever complements those pieces that you already have in your outfit and create an outfit together from those two so my last tip is going to be using an app to plan your outfits together i like doing stuff virtually and i plan my outfits virtually so like it could be even from pictures that i took from clothes that are already owned and just like cropping them and like placing it together on the app but the app that i use is canva i'm going to show you guys a tutorial as well i'm going to screen record it and put it in this video so you guys can see how i do it exactly on canva um or it could be like if i'm online shopping i could screenshot whatever's on that page on the white like background so it already looks like transparent or whatever and do it that way so i use canva to plan on my outfits so i can see them piece by piece side by side together on one picture and then I can also always try it out, try it on before, but if I already know the clothes like fit on me, I'm just gonna do it on camera to see how they look together. And I'll do like the accessories and everything. And yeah, so I love using Canva for that matter. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I use Canva to plan out my outfits. I'm gonna show you all the outfits that I've already worn and like posted on Instagram and stuff. I have some outfits that I already planned for like the month of May so far, like all the events that I know I'm going to so far. But I'm not gonna show y'all that because that's gonna be like exposing myself before the pictures come out. Like, who does that? <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it on Canva. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a tutorial step by step on how I plan my outfits on Canva. So um, for the features that I'm going to use, you do have to have the pro version, but you can use the free trial. That's what I use for like literally like probably like my first year on Canva was the free trial. I don't know how long the free trial is now, but I think mine was like a year, like six months or something like that. It was a little while, okay? But um, I still use Canva not only for outfit planning, but like for YouTube or like um any like um just posts i want to make sometimes like for my stories for brands and stuff like that so i um, for fonts especially i use fonto or canva so canva is really cool so that's why i got the subscription for it but for this video specifically today i'm going to show you guys how i use it to plan my outfits so i'm going to use an example of all the outfits that i had planned for my birthday weekend in orlando that you guys probably already saw the vlog for on my youtube channel the video that was before this one and then also just like um pictures that i posted on instagram and stuff so you've seen these outfits already so like let's just go through the list so far it's like one two three four five six outfits and one of them i didn't even get to wear because um you know not everything goes as planned so i'm gonna recreate my birthday dinner outfit so first i like to name it so i'm gonna write birthday dinner outfit and then i like the date the out uh, like the days i'm gonna wear these outfits for too or at least the days that i'm planning to wear these outfits so this is like the day after my birthday that i wore this i like to center it at the top and i like to change the font too to something a little more clean and classy <laughs> so then a lot of these um 
outfits I'm going to use are already in my uploads for Canva. So like first, this jacket I got from Shein. Now, if I ordered something online already, I'm literally just going to screenshot it from online. But if I didn't buy it online or like it's super old, so I can't even find the order uh, to look back through, I'm just going to use one of the pictures that I've already taken in that outfit or take a picture in that outfit. So as you guys seen, I just clicked effects and then I clicked the background remover to get that. And then I'm gonna do the same for this next outfit, which was the dress that I had worn. So I crop. I don't really care to see her face. She's a beautiful girl. I just not really for my outfit planning. I like to make the, I guess the more statement piece, like the dress, you know, give it up for the dress. Can I hear a little commotion for the dress? Hmm? A little bit. is more of a statement piece so i'll do it like that and the background removed and then let me show you guys like pictures that i actually took for my camera roll so this was like a a cropped screenshot from a video i had took at brunch from a couple months ago with my friends so like i'll background remove now as you guys see <laughs> It confuses the background sometimes and takes parts of the purse that we actually want but i already know which exact purse this is even though it doesn't look like this it's the exact purse that i know so it doesn't really bother me too much i know what purse that is and then same for these this is like from a picture from my instagram that i took in houston for like my 21st birthday last year and these are heels that i still have so i'm um, excuse my feet for being a little ashy uh, I just used the background remover for that as well and downsize it and then there and then I like to also add like um jewelry pieces I know some people they'll even put like well, um, they'll put like the scents down to the scents that they're wearing I might start doing that because you know I like to play in my scents especially if I'm going on a trip trip so I don't have these exact earrings by the way these are just like really similar to what I have I don't have Etsy downloaded on my phone right now so that's why I couldn't just go back to the order or wish list whatever because that was gifted to me and then like this cuff I know I wear this cuff and background remover it looks like a hula hoop on her and I just add it and then what else could I add but what I was gonna say about um planting perfumes like for example um if I want to use this perfume I like to have the travel sizes literally for the reason of traveling because you never know what could happen and i would rather lose a 25 30 dollar travel scent than losing a full bottle probably worth like freaking 60 70 dollars now that would make me sick i don't know about y'all but that would make me sick so like this is me adding the scent this is the scent i'm gonna wear that night type of thing you know so this is how i plan out my outfits and like which days i'm gonna do it let me show you guys how i plan my other outfits like this is the outfit wore for the club that night this outfit i wore to brunch even though i didn't get any pictures in it this is what i wore and this is the outfit that i wore for top golf and you know i didn't really do the extra like um accessories for a lot of these but for my um recent ones that i planned for my may event i did and then there's this outfit that we we're supposed to go to some spring so we're just gonna end up going so we had to um, maneuver a lot of stuff that was on the itinerary already. So when I save it, so this is a tip that I saw. You can add it to your album, like have an album name for your outfits. And boom. So now you can go to the album. I'm sorry, y'all just gonna have to see some of the outfits I planned for May, but yeah, they're all there so you can have them all in one place and you know where to look for your outfits especially if you need help packing now you know and then while you're actually on the trip you can be like okay this is what i have planned for this day is this still the vibe and you know plan it out that way and i think this is literally the the most helpful thing for me saving money with not overbuying on clothes anymore and then also just you know being more organized and i love that for me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much.
Go to the sunrise, go to the sunrise.